Hey, this is Mike with Christian Meds. This week I want to just talk about HRV and why that's an important thing to track if you can. Um, so let's get started. So HRV, which is heart rate variability, basically what that is, is there are devices on the market that help you, um, there's calculations that basically they end up calculating the, the space between your heartbeats, not the rate of your heart rate, but the space between them and the variation between them. And the greater the variation, the more you're in a parasympathetic state, which basically means you're in rest and regenerate type of state. The lower your HRV is, the more you're in a fight or flight state. And that state basically is like you running away from a tiger. So the one, um, the, both states we basically bounce back and forth between the day, so throughout the day. Certain things will be stressful, even like driving a car is stressful on us. Um, and, you know, when we work out, that is stress that we're putting on our body. Um, and so that there's, you know, different things that you can do um, that have different degrees of stress. So when you have a device like an Apple Watch, like I have, um, it kind of estimates what your HRV is basically by looking at different times of the day. Um, if you want it to be more accurate, so, which is, you know, for me and myself, the way I'm, you know, approaching things, I've been working out since the beginning of the year. One of the big things that HRV can do for you is it can tell you if you're overtraining or if you need to give your body time to recover from previous workouts. Um, so, you know, because I'm in my 50s, I don't nearly recover as easily as I used to, um, even when I was 40. Um, so, this type of mindset and things, thinking about this type of thing is very important to me. So, this week I ended up buying, um, or actually I ended up receiving in the mail. Um, I did buy it. Um, but basically, an elite HRV device. Okay, this basically works with an app. I've only had it for a couple days. And um, basically to initialize it, you end up, what they want you to do is they basically, you just put your finger in it, you breathe at a consistent rate, and um, it basically calculates your HRV. What they'd like you to do is the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning for the first four days is you basically take your HRV at the exact similar time, you know, when you first get up in the morning, either sitting up or laying down, and they basically take all this into consideration. Um, so basically, today was the third day, and uh, out of four, I'm not sure what it's going to tell me tomorrow, but it did tell me that my HRV dropped, and a lot of that was because I did... On Saturdays, it's probably my hardest workout because I have the most time. I don't have nearly as much time to do workouts during the week. So I'm basically, right now, I'm working out Monday, Tuesday, having a recovery day on Wednesday, working out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, having a recovery day on Sunday. So from the HRV I took Friday morning compared to the HRV I took um, well, I took, a, I took HRV on Friday when I got it in the afternoon. And then on Saturday, before my workouts, I took it. And then after my workouts, then basically I went through the rest of the day. And then on Sunday morning, I took it, I, the, the third one. And basically it told me that I my HRV had dropped. Which makes logical sense to me because I did so much work. On Saturday, I did two workouts, plus I did a ton of yard work, um, mulching, you know, all the beds in the backyard, 
Um, so I've done a lot uh, of physical activity on Saturday. So I can definitely feel that my body's not recovered from all that. And, um, you know, I'm very glad I have a recovery day today. Um, and I'm very glad that I'm not, you know, overexerting myself um, the way I did yesterday. Not that I didn't um, spray a bunch of stuff onto the, onto the yard so to help it. Just some um, weed and feed stuff, which really wasn't very strenuous to do. Um, so, I'm going to give another update probably in about three months on this once I've been using it for a while. Um, but the big difference between this and my watch is that this wants me to sample first thing in the morning every day, same way, at the same time. So, because of that, it can have a lot more consistency because the big difference, big thing with HRV is you're trying to tell this is my baseline. Am I improving or am I, am I going down based upon, you know, so am I needing to recover because I'm too uh, much in, in a fight and flight type situation or, or am I, do I need to basically meditate more? What do I need to do to basically um, affect my HRV? So it should be interesting for me um, just because I'm so much into the spirit and into you know, realizing that we're vibrational beings and that basically giving our time to God, giving our time to meditate, giving our time to let our body rest and relax and taking comfort in the Lord is, you know, a joy and a filling that I try to do a lot. And that, I think, is why um, life doesn't stress me out the way it used to. So... These are just some of my thoughts, so have a pleasant week.